most wonderful time of the year, which means it's time to decorate the RV for Christmas. Which means we're gonna take the bikes off. <laughs> to get to our trunk, you yeah. know. It's not easy. To get in our trunk storage, we do have to remove the bikes off, which means we try to put stuff in there that we don't use as often, like our Christmas tree. But it's time, it is time. Craig has been trying to make me get rid of this Christmas tree since we got it two years ago. But what would we decorate with if we didn't have this? I don't know. Not that. What would we carry this? We would have no Christmas spirit without this tree. It's used for like two weeks out of the month. Do you Once have a, a year. Christmas tree in your RV? One month a year, two weeks Let out of the month. Let us know. I bet you do. I'm winning this it. one. <laughs> get rid of it. Okay, there's a very complicated setup for this tree. A lot of stuff to do. You want to show them? First you take out this, and then, here's the hard part. And then you're done. That's it. But we don't sit it here. We don't sit it here. One moment. It's not ready yet. You also got to plug it in too. That's yep. right. See, this is our Christmas corner, so it just has to move out of the way. Would you like to do the honors? I guess. This is the hard part. Oh, bending over when you get my age, that's the hard part. <laughs> All right, there you go. We're done, that's it. No, you gotta fluff it. Y'all, he's crazy, he has to fluff it. You gotta fluff the tree. You know, the only part about that's worse than doing all the Christmas decorations, even if it's Halloween, is the putting it up afterwards. Sorry, terrible putting them up out, and it's terrible putting them up. Okay, get your Christmas spirit going. I don't think this is going to be enough for Christmas spirit. Where do I plug it in at? All right, here we go. You ready? Ta-da! Wow, that was very unfulfilling. <laughs> you agree, Maverick? Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh, it's part of the wire. We didn't even fluff the back of it. Well, you can't see the back of it, but you know, we could. We could have more Christmas spirit. I guess I'm going to get more stuff. <laughs> We gotta do stuff, this ain't enough. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna get some more stuff, of course, and we're gonna decorate, and we're gonna show you guys. However, we also have to get some propane, so we're gonna take the propane tanks, fill them up, and take you guys with us. I don't know how I have talked Craig into going bigger, going home, but actually that's just how he always is. It's either zero or a hundred with Craig. Isn't that right? No. I'm normal. Okay, so the goal is to get the most uh, bang for our buck in terms of space. So the most impact, but not too much big stuff. Yeah. What do you think? I guess garland. Garland? Garland. Lights? Maybe a couple of wreaths? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, yeah, use? we could do the wreaths. Reefs? Yeah. Hmm. We'll try not to repeat what happened one year when we lived in a house and, and it caught on fire. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Craig decided we were going all out for our lights on the house and we were going to do a gingerbread house and next thing you know we had spent hundreds of dollars on lights. It was a contest, wasn't it? Is that what you're talking about? Well, there's that too. That's this. I think we won. Point proven. Craig is zero, decorate none, or he is 500. Hey, when there's a, something to win, somebody's got to win it. Even if there weren't any prizes. Well, okay. we're in a contest with ourselves this year to see if we can, I guess, just do better than a measly Christmas tree. So when you're like in an RV and you go to do stuff, it always turns into more. For instance, we just want to decorate the RV with Christmas stuff. But since we're going out, now we've got to fill the propane tanks. Especially since it's about to be like 20 degrees tonight. Yeah, yeah that's thanks. right. It's supposed to get cold. Okay there, Van. <laughs> Say a command. Oh, what? What? I don't know. Garmin <laughs> has a mind of its own. When you say something to Garmin, it does not hear you. But when you ain't even talking to it, it wants to be a part of the conversation. I do not get it. We even managed to find a little bit of Christmas stuff here at Tractor Supply, but we've got some more stores to go to 
and more stuff to get. So on our way to Lowe's, we just stopped to eat and check out a, to check out a restaurant to do our very first meetup. I think it's gonna go good and I'm very excited about it. What do you think, Victoria? I think, I hope people actually show up, which hopefully they will, but you'll probably, I guess, be finding out when we do, because we're gonna take you along at the end of this video, and so you'll get to see how many people come and how good of a time we have. I'm sure we'll have a good time no matter how many people come. Okay, the secret to shopping for Christmas decorations is to wait until it's pretty close to Christmas and then go shopping because we just got out of there for only $60 for all those decorations. Not bad, not bad. Okay, are you guys ready for this transformation? It's kind of cute though. What is this? It's a little truck. I thought it was an RV when I saw it at first. It's not even an RV, it's a truck. We have a truck? Not that kind, it's like a 19, 57 Ford or something. Okay, listen, the options are limited when you're shopping this close to Christmas. Craig just has to take what he gets and don't whine a bit. Also, this truck is carrying three full-size trees in the back of its bed. That's a truck. That's a truck. That's a truck. So if you're gonna be decorating for Christmas in your RV, I recommend these command strips that way you don't damage your walls or wallpaper or anything like that. At least we're hoping not. We've had good luck with them in the past. So everything was on sale. Good news for us. However, these lights are like strobe lights. I don't understand. They're like, it's weird. They and it's not warm light. It's like, it's not the right color. But I'll, I guess we can't complain too much because it was on sale and there was literally nothing left hardly. So On camera, they're not strobing. Really? Yeah, I don't think. I don't know, like we definitely cannot just have these on all the time. It is weird. Well, come stand back here. They actually are less. So the weird effect when you're far away from them, they look fine. What's going on? Okay, we're leaving the lights as is. The good thing about living in an RV is that it doesn't take too much to deck it out. So on to the garland. Nailed it. Are you ready for this? We just got done, and it's gonna be the best Christmas decorating you've ever seen in your entire life. Maybe. Okay. We did it. We decorated for Christmas. We didn't spend too much, under a hundred dollars. Was it? Yep. And I feel like it looks so nice and cozy in here. I love it so much. This is going to make me very happy for the remainder of the Christmas season, which we don't have much left of. It's not worth it, guys. We've got more festivities coming, Christmas festivities coming tomorrow. We're gonna be heading to bed soon, so we will see you in the morning. It's December, we're in Hickory, North Carolina, visiting my sister, brother-in-law, niece and nephew, and we're doing all the Christmas things. Like all of them, because my what sister- What are we doing? At festivals, lights. All I know is there's popcorn and ice cream. Popcorn, and ice hot cream, chocolate. hot chocolate. Um, this month is gonna be full of so much Christmas stuff, and we're taking you guys along. A little foggy out this morning. In the corner. Very, Turn left. Talking, it's very foggy. This is- it's probably the foggiest weather we've been in a long time. Gonna be some interesting Christmas vibes. Might be a little Halloween with a mix of Christmas feeling. It kind of makes it feel more Christmassy. A little bit. Pretend it's snow. We're at Riverbend Creamery. We're getting ice cream because that's what you do in December. I made a new friend, guys. We've been friends for a couple Grace. of years. Grace. How old are you? She's two. Two years. A couple <laughs> years. <laughs> Well, if y'all ever wonder where we get the winging it, winging it style from, <laughs> it runs in our family. Because no. 
We're just here. We we <laughs> promised the kids that they were gonna get to see cows. We can't see any. We can't find any cows to see, but they've got to be here because it's a dairy farm. I see some of them, <laughs> but we don't know if we're allowed there. A brown back. It says stop. Just, it says stop. Oh man. Greg, what are we doing? No, say so we're, we're waiting in line for Santa. Oh. Tell her. Oh, he didn't know. Santa. It's your turn. Okay, that's a good job, Grace, to get it off. Ready? Here we go. Follow Pryor. Hey, buddy. Come on up here. Follow Pryor. I bet you like Paw Patrol, don't you? Come right here. <laughs> that was probably the freshest ice cream we've ever had. I got a milkshake. Well, he got a milkshake. He didn't really like it, but was it, was it good? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. It came fresh from the cows that we saw mooing in the fog. Today is the day. It's time for our meetup and I'm so excited. We have so many people going. We did not expect this and I hope the restaurant doesn't hate us. So we did not expect so many people to RSVP to this thing. Um, I really hope it goes smoothly and I'm sorry to any of the waiters or waitress or anybody cooking or involved in the staff of this restaurant. I did not know it was going to be this big. But I'm stu still super excited about how great it seems like it's turning out. I would have never thought this would have happened, especially such short notice. And in Hickory in December, North Carolina in December, I would have never thought there was this many people here still RVing. <laughs> it is kind of like a Christmas present to us, though, because we were really hoping to meet, get to meet some of you guys. We really didn't want to be there alone, and it doesn't look like we're going to be alone. So... Merry Christmas, and we're about to see some of you real soon. They tried to have us outside, or no, we thought about being outside. I'm so glad we didn't. It is so cold. We ended up having the most fun evening, and we're truly blown away by the wonderful group of people who took the time to come hang out with us at the Hickory Tavern on a Tuesday evening, less than a week before Christmas. Out of the nearly 40 people who came together for dinner, only a few of us had ever actually met in person before, but our entire group had the best evening swapping RV stories, laughing, and becoming friends. Thank you to the anonymous person who called ahead and had appetizers ready for all the tables, and to those of you who drove hours to be here. We are very much looking forward to doing more of these in the future because we really had the best time. So thank you to every single one of you, the ones who came to meet us and the ones watching here online. It's because of you that we're here, showing up every week, and we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas! Thank you guys. Woo!